go back to Mexico. People like you are the reason that Ebola exists and I hope that you catch it and you die. You're such a dirty, disgusting rat from Southeast Asia. You look like you're on drugs. It's always my hair. I have a preference for light-skinned guys. BBC. No rice. Whites only. You, your people, all of it, get out of my country. Imagine if I was walking down the street and I saw a bunch of store signs that said, only these people, not you, only looking for this, none of this allowed in. It correlates kind of to that type of experience. I have to admit that I'm sometimes like some of the comment kind of haunted me in a sense. It's affect your process of thinking, how you function in life. Racism is you thinking that like, I'm not gonna be smarter than you when you first meet me or when black people are articulate and other people go, oh, you're so well-spoken. Like that's the kind of stuff that bothers me and that's the kind of stuff that I feel like needs to be addressed. I think the racism that's not overt but that's covert is the 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 main problem i started to sort of like take on like oh is there something wrong with me like is there something is there something about myself that i should be ashamed of when i'm interacting with these guys like it just sort of like opened my eyes to a hierarchy that i wasn't sort of participating in before it's just crazy how something that's happening on an app can kind of take you to the real world and you're kind of affected by it. I couldn't wrap my brain around how someone thought that language was okay. It can really consume you. You s just start to wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and count all the reasons that nobody is going to love you. This is wrong to say these things to somebody. You also thought this was okay to say to somebody. You could have just stayed quiet. Let's just say, you say no black people, no fat people on your profile. You genuinely believe that. So let's just say you have to interact with them at your job. You're probably not gonna treat them as well. You're probably not going to give them the right customer service that they should probably get. So yeah, no, it's not just, it's just grinder. Just because I'm black and just because I'm tall and thin and gorgeous doesn't mean that you're gonna get the top experience of your life. You might if you play your cards right. If you don't put no Asians in your profile, that doesn't mean you have to fuck Asians now. It just means that I don't have to see it. Why do you think that's okay? How do you go about your day with your account like this? Everyone sees it. That 15 year old gay self, what would you have said to that person? Try to visualize that person, because they're still in there. You don't know what the person on the other side of the phone is going through. You have no idea what their experience is or what else they have going on and what that comment might do to them. I don't request to be seen as a human, I demand to be seen as a human, and I think that every single person needs to do that same thing. It is not racist to not be attracted to me personally. I mean, it's shocking, quite honestly, but for you to say, like, I know what every Asian guy looks like, and I know for a fact that I would not be attracted to any of them, like, that comes from a racist place because you don't know what we all look like. That's ugly. When did we get to a place as a marginalized community where we're starting all this infighting with each other. Cause where's that gonna get us? We have only so much space like in our profiles to like get across whatever the fuck we want to get across to all the other guys on this app. And you're gonna take space to narrow it by what you don't want rather than what you do want. Just tell me what you do like. If you tell me that you like the fucking Jonas Brothers, I'm gonna know I'm not for you. Regardless of what battle that you're going through, you don't need to break other people to make you feel good. You don't have to hurt other people just to make you feel uplifted. Remember that there's actually a person on the other end of, of this interaction. Today we're doing something that's about getting people to treat each other better, but I think we also have to learn to love ourselves. If you wanna be whatever you wanna be, and that makes you feel sexy, that's what you should be doing. If you are feeling put down for just being yourself, it's probably the other person's issue. It's probably something that they haven't worked out. You will find multiple people in your lifetime who will think you're enough and then some. But in that moment, as you're staring at that screen, at that person who has really hurt your feelings, move forward, be yourself. Don't let someone tell you who you are. You know who you are. 